Hello friends, this video on polynomials part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this chapter are polynomials, polynomials in one variable, zeros of polynomial, remainder theorem, factorization of polynomial, and algebraic identities. So the first question that comes to our mind is what are polynomials? The definition of polynomial is it is an expression that consists of variables. We'll talk about what are variables and coefficients. We'll talk about what are coefficients and that involves the operation of addition, subtraction, multiplication. So this is something we already know. These three operations we already know. Please know, no division operation is uh, not involved here and it has non-negative integer exponents. So when I say non-negative integer exponents, I mean something like this. For example, x square 2 is a non-negative integer exponent. Non-negative integer I can also say as whole number. So exponents are whole number. So what are polynomials? They are nothing but expressions which consist of variables. We'll talk about variables. Variables are something like x, y. For example, we say y square plus 2y plus 3. This is a polynomial. y is a variable and exponent here is 2 that is a whole number. Here y is nothing but y to the power 1 that is also a whole number and 3 I can write as 3y to the power 0 and 0 is also a whole number. If you see the exponents are 0, 1 and 2 here which are whole number non-negative integers and oper operations typically follow is addition, subtraction, multiplication. If you, if you see here, here we have all additions. In fact, I can also write uh, z square plus 3z minus 2. So if you see, there is subtraction here as well. All these are polynomials. So polynomials are nothing but expressions which has variables and coefficients. These are coefficients that can be 3 is a coefficient here. And if you say here 4, 4 is a coefficient here. 2 is a coefficient here. These are coefficients. We'll talk about that in, in uh, detail. Just understand and even if you don't understand the definition, hold on for me, uh, hold on for some time. We'll give some examples on polynomial, why it is used. Okay. For now, understand polynomial is nothing but an expression which has variables and coefficients and the operations involved are addition, subtraction and multiplication. Okay. And these uh, exponents, these exponents are typically, see here this is 1, this is z to the power 0. These exponents are whole number. So if I have something like this, 4z to the power minus 2 plus 3z, this is not a polynomial because this is minus 2. Okay, so we will talk about these in detail. So a good relation of polynomial can be in real life, for example, if you want to add uh, 3 orange, 2 banana and uh, this is one set, another set is 2 orange, 5 apple. So what will you do? You will add orange to orange, 3 plus 2 is 5 orange, then you will add banana to banana, there is no banana on this side, so you will get the same value banana here. Then you will add apple to apple, there is no apple on the left hand side. So apple will be 5, right? So if you see the output is 3 plus 2, you get 5 orange. 3 banana comes here and 5 apple comes here. So what I'm doing is I'm adding apple to apple, orange to orange and banana to banana. Same thing. So if we place, let's suppose orange with x, banana with y and apple with z. So you get this kind of expression, the same thing what you have here I can rewrite as 3x 3 orange plus 3y 3 banana plus 2x 2 orange plus 5z 5 apple sum is nothing but 3x 5x plus 3y plus 5z right if you add also you will get 5 orange 3 banana 5 apple 5 orange 3 banana 5 apple so these are variables actually And polynomial is nothing but expression which has variables and coefficients. These are coefficients. 
and operations are typically addition subtraction multiplication okay one extra rule here is all these exponents has to be whole number okay so with this in mind let's start with chapter so having understand having understood the definition of polynomial the next question that comes to our mind is why should we study polynomial what is the importance of polynomial in our day to day life this is very important because if you understand the importance of polynomials you read the chapter with more interest okay so one good example of application of polynomial is in physics e is equal to mc square very popular equation in physics where if you see these are all variables now and this is nothing but polynomial because polynomial i told nothing but variables and this power is has to be whole number if you see to, to the power 2 2 is a whole number so in physics we use polynomials a lot in chemistry also if you want to move into science physics chemistry in chemistry for example we use pv is equal to nrt the all equations using uh, chemistry pressure volume right r is a constant t is a temperature and is the number of moles so these these things uh, uh, when if you don't understand the equation fine for now just understand that if you plan to take chemistry in your higher classes you will definitely need polynomials if you want to become engineer civil engineers all these curves which you create you need polynomial expressions to create these curves if you want to go to finance if you take commerce you want to go to the finance segment as well you need polynomial for example if you want to calculate compound interest compound interest calculator you need polynomial you want to go in finance also if you want to create graphs all these graphs the financial graphs a lot of polynomials involved so whether you want to go to you know science stream or commerce stream or even art scheme stream as well where you are um, uh, becoming uh, you become archaeologist you will need polynomials okay so they told that polynomial has expression polynomial is expression which has variables and constants and exponents with uh, whole number whole number exponents so the question is what is a variable and what is a constant see variable is something which varies in a given scenario for example let's talk about your scenario and let's talk about uh, your scenario from age 0 to age 20 right when so you see your age varies so age is a variable in this scenario the marks you get in class also varies in different terms So marks can also be a variable, right? Let's suppose you like some movie today, and tomorrow you like some other movie. So your movie, uh, your favorite movie, will change. In fact, your favorite star will change. Star cast. All these are variable. Today you like movie X, tomorrow you may like movie Y. But let's talk about some constant. For example, your name. your name can be anything amit sumit any name all these names or john your name is typically constant you don't change your name so frequently there are cases where people change name but in most of the case your name is constant or even your parents name right so whether you are age 0 or age 20 your parents will be same So these are some example of variable and constant in this scenario. Okay, and it depends on the scenario. Why? Because, for example, let's take uh, today. Today is a day. For today is the scenario. I'm not, I'm not taking this uh, bigger range. I'm taking today. For today, the weekday is same. Let's suppose today is Wednesday. So this is same. right full day the year will be same the date will be same okay 
today for today your age will also be same your age will not change in one day these will be constant and let's talk about some variable for today weather weather will not be same today whole day sometime will have a sunny sometimes will be cloudy it will change okay or uh, let's talk about something which changes uh, in a day stock price if you are aware of stock price it changes the, in a day itself it changes okay your mood so maybe you are happy in the morning sad in the evening so these are examples of variable and constant so i hope with this you understand the concept of variable and constant so variable is something which varies in a given time frame and time frame or in a given problem statement and constant is something which is constant in that given problem statement and variable is typically denoted by if you talk about variable it is typically denoted by a symbol or letters x y z these are used to denote variables if you talk about constant for constant we use real numbers or sometimes we use abc also when some people ask me why x y z is used for variable why abc for constant it is just a convention convention wise x y z typically we use for variables and these numbers are anyway constant is not change and sometimes we use abc as well for constant okay so value of constant remains same throughout a particular situation okay but the value of variable will change in a given problem so if you talk about any uh, uh, expression polynomial for example 3x square plus 5x plus 2 or let's take any another polynomial 3x plus 4y plus 2z so if you see here these are variables this is a constant okay thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot for watching